In this tutorial, I'll show you how to have a conversation with a WhatsApp end user. When an end user sends a WhatsApp message to your WhatsApp number, a new conversation will be created in Microsoft Teams. On top of the conversation, you'll see the phone number and the name which the sender has configured in their WhatsApp profile. You'll also see the time and date when he or she sent the last message. If you have CRM integration, the end user's contact details will also be displayed automatically. WhatsApp for Business allows you to respond within 24 hours after you've received the last message. In the customer window, you can see the time you have left to respond to this message. If the timer expires, the customer window is closed and you can no longer send a normal message. Later in this video, I'll show you how to use a template message instead. You can assign the conversation to yourself or a colleague to let other team members know who will be handling the conversation. You can select a team member by clicking the Assign button. If enabled, the team member will receive a notification that a conversation has been assigned. To reply to a conversation, just click the Reply link. You must then mention the Roger app to send a message to the WhatsApp user. If you don't mention the Roger app, you add a message to the conversation in Teams, but it will not be sent to the WhatsApp user. You can also send an emoticon or a sticker by mentioning the bot followed by the emoticon. Due to limitations in Teams, you cannot send an attachment or an image directly. If you would like to share a document or a file, we recommend that you share it via OneDrive and send the link to the WhatsApp user. Although sending attachments is not supported, you can copy and paste an image after mentioning the Roger app. WhatsApp users can send you all kinds of media, such as emoticons, attachments, or their location. If you receive an attachment, you'll see a card with a download button. By clicking this button, you'll download the attachment to your local PC where you can open it. When the customer window has expired, 24 hours after receiving the last message from the WhatsApp user, you can only send a template message. To do this, click the Notify button, then select the template, the desired language, and then press OK. Now the template will be shown and you can fill in the variables. Click OK and this message will be sent to the WhatsApp user. As soon as he or she replies, the customer window timer is reset for another 24 hours. Finally, when you finish your conversation, press the close button.